Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're gonna use iClone 7, apply body and facial motion capture data to the character, export it and bring it into Blender. From there, we're gonna re-rig the character using Auto Rig Pro. And then we're gonna apply that body and facial motion capture back onto that newly rigged character. Now, for those of you who've been following my channel, or even if you haven't, please make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out. But I do use the Reillusion Suite quite a bit with all my animated short films. So I luckily enough, I do have an affiliate link below. So if you do want to pick it up, please use the link below as it really helps me out. But now let's get into the tutorial and we'll go from there. Hello, it's Marek Matos here with Reillusion. And in this video, we're going to export a character from Character Creator 3 import it into Blender. We're gonna rig the character with Auto Rig Pro, and then we're gonna actually apply facial and body motion capture to our character. So here I've already got our character set up. I'm gonna go File, Export, FBX, and we're gonna go from Maya to Blender. I don't want the motion, I just want the mesh. Um, I'm gonna turn off embedded textures because I don't like the textures to be within the FBX file. I'd rather them actually be separate. We're gonna keep it as an A pose. And because we're not exporting any animation, we don't need to. So let's now click export and we're just gonna save our character. And now let's jump over into Blender. So here we are in Blender, let's import our character. I'm just gonna delete that default cube. Let's go file, import, FBX. We are going to import our main character. So let's go import. And there we have it, our characters now in Blender just a few clicks and we're already there. So I'm just gonna press numpad one on the keyboard to go into front view. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is select our rig. Let's come over here into the armature details, viewport display, and we actually wanna see the rig in front. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I can see our feet aren't along the Z axis zero, which is this red line. So I'm just gonna grab our character. Let's go GZ. That should be fine there. Now I'm gonna select everything and I just wanna apply the location. So I'm gonna press Control A, all transforms. And now we can see that the origin point for all these meshes are down the bottom here. Now the next step is we need to actually lock the vertex groups. Now this is really important for the head, especially if we're gonna be doing facial motion capture. If we were to rig the character now with Auto Rig Pro, all these get automatically deleted. So that means we lose our jaw control and our eyes which is fair enough. So what I like to do is normally have everything drop down and we go lock all on the character. I'm just gonna hide our body just that way so I don't miss anything. So let's start from the top. We've got eyes and we can see we've got two. So let's lock them, hide. We've got our eye occlusion, we'll lock that one and hide. And also our tear line here and hide. Teeth, no worries, hide. Our tongue, let's lock them and hide. Now, technically we don't need to do this for the body and the pants and the shoes as well, but I like to do it anyway, just in case I need to come back and check out the weight painting. So I'm gonna select them. Let's go lock all, hide, and on the pants. And then last but not least, the shoes. There we go. And now to bring everything back, we do Alt H to unhide. So from here, we've got our character selected. I'm just gonna select the body as the last thing selected. I'm gonna press N to bring up the side panel. Let's find Auto Rig Pro. Here we go. Let's click on Smart and Get Selected Objects. Now at the moment, we've lost sight of our rig. Now, why do I wanna see our previous rig? The reason for that is, is so I can use the previous rig as a guide. It just makes life a little bit easier. So over here in the top right-hand corner, we can see our armature. I'm just gonna show our armature. This is the reason why I put in front before because now we can actually see our armature. So let's scroll in. Let's go add a neck. There we go, right there, buddy. Add a chin, no worries. Add some shoulders. That lines up very quickly and easily. Add a wrist, which is about here-ish. Let's just go add a spine root and then add our ankles, which will be about here. What I'm just gonna do now is press go and the secondary rig has been created. So let's now just line everything up just a smidgen so we can see our ankles are a little bit off. So I'm gonna press C, select all that. Let's just go G, put that back in place and also there. Let's go with the knee, I'm gonna bring it back. Now it's very important that this leg here, the knee is actually in front. If it's behind, then we're gonna have problems where 
the knee joint is actually pointing the wrong way. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's do it with the arms. That looks fine. That looks fine. This looks a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this down. Now it's really important to keep this in line from this one to this one, because if this is kind of up, then the actual rotation of the arm will be off. And I'll actually, I'll show you that. So if I have a, something like this, and then I click match to rig, you can see that the arm's actually bending the wrong way. So if I select uh, the elbow, we can see that it's actually bending down here, where it actually needs to bend up this way. So let's just go back into edit reference bone. Let's select this. And then I'm gonna press G and kind of just line it up with the previous one and try and get it in line as much as possible. We're kind of using this as a guide, trying to just get it into the middle. There we go. And now let's click match to rig. And it's not too bad. I think I can probably move it down a little bit. And what's happened here? Oh boy, let's select that. Alt R to reset the rotation. And let's have a look at front view. So we can see that this isn't parallel anymore. So let's go edit reference bones. I'm just gonna press, I'm gonna go up a little bit and let's go match to rig. And that's pretty much close enough. I'm very happy with that and how that all looks. From here, let's go into object mode and select everything but our previous rig. There we go. And let's select our rig last. Then we can click skin and we can click bind. And now let's check it out. Let's click on our character. I'm gonna go pose mode, rotate to Z. And there we go. We've now got our character rigged up with Auto Rig Pro. However, if we come into here, we've got our second rig and then I click pose. Which one is my jawbone? I think this one here, rotate, nothing happens. So when we apply that facial motion capture, it's not gonna work. That's fine, let's fix it. So what I'm gonna do is go into edit mode. I'm going to select our neck bones. Let's go into front view. I'm gonna press C for selection tool and I'm gonna select all the hands, the spine and all that. And let's just finish it off all this. From here, what I'm going to do is delete our bones. And if we scroll in all the way, we can see that we've got this one hidden little bone that we discussed before. And this is the head bone. So at the moment, we have still got two different rings and we've still got a nipple there. So <laughs> let's get rid of that nipple just quickly before we make another mistake. Delete bones. There we go. So from here, let's go into object mode. I've got this bone selected or this armature selected. I'm going to shift left click on our auto rig pro armature and press Control J to join. So now we've got both our armatures as one. Let's go into edit mode. And what we need to do is we actually need to join our previous armature to our new armature. So if I go back into pose mode, sorry, and then I press either the head bone and rotate, we can see that this actually isn't moving. So let's go now into edit mode. Let's select our head bone. That's the facial, that's the head. So we can see it up here. Let's go on bones and relations. Our parent's bone will be, oh, let's just type in head and it will be C underscore head X, bam. And now when we go back into pose mode and we move this around, everything moves together and now our jaw moves, excellent. So that's, we've got exactly what we want. Now let's go about applying some motion data. So what we're gonna do from here is go back into our previous blend file that we were working on. And so we've got our character here. What we're gonna do now is rename all the actions that we've created so far. So from here, let's go into the animation tab. We're actually gonna come up here into the editor type and change that to the nonlinear animation. Like we did before, let's push down all our animations just to make our life a little bit easier. And we're gonna go into object mode. So let's now select our armatures, which is this one up here, change the dope sheet to action editor. And I'm gonna press tab to edit this action. And now what I'm gonna do is just rename it. So I'm gonna go joke underscore arm, cause it's an armature. And I'm just gonna press enter on that one. Let's press tab to go back into object mode and I'm gonna delete that one. Now let's select our body. Let's select our track and then our action. Now, if I go tab into edit mode, nothing happens down here. And that's because this isn't an action. This is actually a shape key action, I guess, if you wanna call it. So we need to change the action editor from action editor to shape key editor. Here we can change this. So we'll call this joke underscore body. 
and that's what controls the whole facial body. So let's go tab to go into there. I'm gonna delete that one. Let's come in and select our eye occlusion. I'm just gonna go here in the top right hand corner, make life a little bit easier. Eye occlusion, tab, and we'll call this joke OCC and we'll tab that out. Let's go delete. Then we select our tier lines, tier line, tab into edit mode, whoops. Let's go tab over here, joke, tier, tab, and last but not least, our tongue, tongue, tab, joke, underscore, tongue, whoops. Try that again, tongue, tab, there we go. So a very important thing, here we've got F next to all our uh, shape keys. Now, if there was a zero there, as soon as we save the blend file, that data will be removed. But because there's an F, it's called a fake user. So that data will be stored within the blend file. So let's just go file, save, and we'll just save that file. And now we're back in our AutoRig Pro file. So let's just go file, save as, just so we've saved it. And let's start working on this. So first things first, we're just gonna go into object mode. And I'm actually gonna bring in actions that we need to deal with. So I'm gonna go file. Link will mean that the data stays over there in the other blend file. Append means that all that data will come into this blend file. I normally like to bring in the action and the shape key data into the blend file, but that's just my preference. So I'm gonna click append. Let's go find our file, which was jokes, actions, and we can see our five actions that we saved, our actions and shape keys. Let's click append. And so now that data is in this blend file. So if I come up here into animation and let's just zoom in a little bit, we go into object mode. Let's change this editor type to the non-linear animation. Let's select our body. From here, let's go joke sheet to uh, shape key editor. Let's drop down and select our body. Now this is what I was talking about before. We've got F and we've got the zeros. So if I were to save this blend file now, all this data will disappear. So let's press body. There we go. And now if we kind of scroll through this, we can see that his face is moving. However, his jaw is not moving. And that's because it is controlled by the bone. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let's come back. Let's now go to the eye occlusion and we will add eye occlusion. Let's go to T line and then select our tier. And then last but not least, let's just move this down a smidgen. Let's select our tongue and we're gonna add in our tongue. So if we have a look, everything is moving hunky dory except for the body. Now the body's a little bit more work. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select our armature and we need to actually transfer the motion from one skeleton to another skeleton. So we actually need to bring in the armature as an actual object. So let's go file, append. From here, let's go up one, object, armature. Now I can select the armature and we can go into pose mode. I'm just gonna select everything with A, even though it already was selected. Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset location and Alt S to reset the scale just in case. Let's go into object mode. I'm gonna press G, X, just move him over a bit. From here, this chap needs to have an animation. So let's go shape key back to action editor. Let's select the drop down, and we will pick the joke arm. And instantly now he has that animation. Now for the motion capture data transfer to happen, we need to have an action here that we're editing. So from here, what I'm gonna do is press N to bring up the side panel. Let's go to Auto Rig Pro and we'll click on remapping. We've got this rig already selected. That's gonna be our source. So that's where our, all our information's coming from. And we will select our Auto Rig Pro rig and this will be our target rig. Let's come down and we'll build a bone list. And now that's created the list of bones for uh, both armatures and so our source and where it's going. Now, obviously we could go through and make sure everything's correct. However, Reillusion's already done this. There is a link to a file in the description and this is just a really good time saver. So let's go mapping preset and I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna find that file and it'll be called RL Blender ARP template. I'm gonna accept and then click import. From here, what I'm gonna do is just scroll up a little bit and I'm gonna press retarget. And I'm just gonna test it out quickly. I'm just gonna put in 100 
and go okay and we can see that we've got some really wonky wonky business <laughs> So let's just undo that. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is press spacebar to search, and I'm gonna type in make local, and we're gonna make all objects local. I'm now going to um, select this rig. I'm going to click redefine rest pose, go back into object mode. Let's select our auto rig pro rig. Let's go into pose mode, select everything, and we're gonna hit copy selected bone rotation. Back into object mode, let's select our armature here then change it over to pose mode there we go select everything and we're going to click apply and it's going to take a while now that that's finished processing from here we can go into retarget our 1500 frames let's press ok and there we have it our animation has now completely converted over let's just once again push down those animations just to make life a little bit easier and everything just matches up and it just works except for the legs. <laughs> now, the reason why the legs are a little bit haggly is because they're in IK mode, I believe, not FK. So what we've got to do is go into object mode. Let's select the armature. Let's now go into pose mode and select our feet down here. Let's come up into tools. And here under rig properties, we got to change from IK to FK. There we go. And do the other one as well. And now we've got proper legs <laughs> now with this all we can still come in and select our armature which i believe is this one and we go tab and here we can still do all the animation we need so let's go into pose mode and for instance if we want to move the arm up here and then we can start pressing i to save keyframes you know the location or the rotation and the exact same thing we can be doing on the face so we can select our body come up over here into the vertex groups and we can go through and start changing these uh, values here as well. Um, and by that, we can just come up here into shape key editor, press tab to go into edit mode. And then for instance, if we wanna make him blink, we can change the blinks and so on and so forth. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button because there is constant quality content coming out of Reillusion.